to Vlogmas Day 11. I'm just on my way home from work. It's actually raining at the moment, so I apologise if you can hear the raindrops on the windscreen. And I hope you can hear my voice clear enough. It's not great sound quality in this car, but it's the best I can do. So, what's been happening today? Oh, we had our Christmas party at work today. Just a little um, luncheon put on at one of the function centres in town and as you can see I got all dressed up <laughs> not really <laughs> I got my big W Chrissy t-shirt on so yeah that was quite nice it was all right kids apparently missed their school bus today so they were home and they blamed it on the fact that I took their phones off them and they slept in I'm not sure how they woke up yesterday I'm pretty sure they both had their phones yesterday so why they all of a sudden didn't have them today I really don't know but anyway so I mean the phones they only use as far as like their alarm clock they don't they still don't have them to use like throughout the day so they missed their bus today and apparently well for the reason was that they slept in but my husband was also off today he had his one of his rostered days off let me explain the story so last night obviously me and Jamie were at cadets so Jamie already eats when he's at cadets like they get food for them while they're there and I just got like a little Chinese wonton soup I wasn't really that hungry so I just got a little wonton soup and uh, Michael and Jesse sort themselves out at home so they cook their own dinner and eat while we're gone so when we got home obviously they were just finishing off eating I mean it was pretty late when they were eating but they were just finishing off eating and Michael said oh like don't worry about all the kitchen I'll clean up all the dishes and everything tomorrow because he just didn't really feel like doing it that night so I said yeah no worries so when he got up this morning he would had in mind oh yeah I'm gonna get all the kitchen clean and do all the dishes and everything and he said he walked into the kitchen and the kitchen was spotless he said all the dishes were washed everything was put away all the bench tops were wiped down the stove was shining he said the whole kitchen was really like spotlessly clean and he said he was really confused like because he was like I'm sure I didn't do the dishes last night and yeah apparently the kids had done it all off their own back without even being asked so I was really really shocked by that and you have no idea how much joy was in my heart <laughs> after hearing that like to me that sort of thing is like if you're gonna get me a present that sort of thing means more to me than any present like I just I just thought that was just so nice the fact that they just thought a little bit outside of themselves and and did that I mean whether it was that was the intention or whether they were just shitting themselves because they missed the bus and they thought they were going to be in trouble so they thought you know by lessening the blow they'll clean all the kitchen either way like I was just really so happy to hear that so maybe something's finally sinking in for them I don't know it must be because I mean this never happened before so yeah and apparently then when Michael got up he had them working outside like Michael bought a whole heap more trees for our little um, acreage like he's got a whole heap of different trees growing now I think he bought a couple of fig trees a pecan tree um, I think he said he picked up a coffee tree like some Arabic Arabica coffee or something I don't know I'm not really sure what he said but yeah so he bought a few more trees for our little collection and um, he had the kids planting all those and shoveling dirt and working in the garden all day today so they would have had a pretty pretty busy and tiring and productive day because I mean they still don't have any of their technology to, to lounge around on so yeah it was actually really good I'm looking forward to going home now and having a nice clean house <laughs> it's wonderful so that's one one bright thing that's happened today I was really really proud but now 
I mean, they're good kids. I really can't complain. You know, when I hear like some of the horror stories that Michael tells me from his work, like you know, kids misbehaving and doing drugs and stealing cars and all of that sort of thing, not going to school, bashing their parents. You know, it just yeah, I really don't have a lot to complain about. I mean, if the worst the worst I've got to complain about is the fact that they don't clean their dishes. I mean. I think I'm doing pretty well. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm happy. So, when I get home today, what am I going to do? Uh, I'm probably just going to, I want to try and start, see, the problem with me doing Vlogmas is it doesn't give me a lot of time to do all my DIYs. So, I haven't really done half the DIYs that I was hoping to do this Christmas. Like, I wanted to decorate those uh, present boxes, like the little boxes that we've got for each person's presents. I wanted to decorate those. Uh, so I might start that today. It's probably going to take me a couple of days, even though that sort of thing would normally probably only take me an hour if I just, you know, was able to just sit down and do it. But just with all the editing and everything of the vlogs each day, it, it just sort of, yeah, it's going to take a little bit longer. So I might start decorating those boxes and filming that. And I want to just maybe hang a couple of decorations off our dining chairs and office chairs because I picked up some, um, I don't know, you might have saw in my recent um, reject shop haul, I picked up a couple of like door hangers that I thought I would use to decorate uh, the back of our dining chairs because they're just nice and simple and understated and I thought that might look good or we'll see when I get home today. So that's my plan for this afternoon. Um, oh shit. I hate that when you hit water on the road and your bloody car just bloody goes in different directions. Oh. And I hate bloody big trucks. Oh, I have to always get past them, they make me nervous. But yeah. So, well, at least if I did have a friggin' crash, it would be all on camera. Oh. Well, so yeah, there's, that's pretty much all that's happening today. Um, I think Michael's cooking some spare ribs for dinner. And I think we've got some salad to have with that. So, be a nice dinner. Jeez, look at the colour of you. Too late. She's just put her shoes and everything on. Oh, honestly. Been hard at work today, hey? Not really. Planting all what the trees. I do every day after school. Oh, you're such a good lady. She's such a worker. She is. She is. Is she doing anything inside the house? Just kills her life. Oh, she was out in the rain all day today. She nah, doesn't care. I know. She's not worried about that. This is why I love this area. Just always raining. My husband hates it. But I just love it. I just love this sort of rainy sort of weather. Yeah, because it's such a joy to work outside. No, it's not, no, it's not a joy to work outside. But it is. It's very cozy when you're having to stay inside, and it just makes everything so green and so beautiful. I love it. All the mist on the mountains. I hate the rain. I was going to ride rolly today, but I still am. I don't care. <laughs> Well, you've done a good job with all your trees. They're looking really good. It's looking really good now. Everything's starting to grow and fill in. Look! <laughs> You're an idiot. Look at the colour of you. You're going to have to bloody... It all started this morning when Big Dog jumped on me after I fed... Well, I didn't feed him, but I took his rug off. Oh, God. Wow. That was a disaster. I still haven't ridden rolling. Okay, so I'm just going to start dinner. Uh, we're just going to have, like I said, spare ribs tonight. So I'll start preparing them so they can be cooking in the oven. And yeah, then we'll get some decorating happening. And I just want to show you guys too, have a look at my kitchen. Like everything's been cleaned. The benches, the stove, that was all the kids. I'm just like so, so happy. <laughs> they don't even understand how wrapped I am. It's just awesome. So something's working. Something must be working. They're good kids. I can't. So here's dinner tonight. We've got just the um, pork spare ribs, 
and that tray as well. We've got one that's got just all-purpose seasoning on it and then the other one's just plain salt. And we usually then have it with barbecue sauce and stuff like that, you know, chili sauce or barbecue sauce, whatever anyone wants. So I'll put, pop those in the oven now and they should be done in half an hour. Okay, or so. so I'm not gonna make this any more complicated than it needs to be. This is our door hanger. And all I'm actually gonna do is, I've got these sprigs, these sprigs here from Kmart. They were, I think, $5. And they're just like a glittery pine cone needle with a couple of pine cones on them. Now, these actually can come off. So I've just taken two, two of the little sprigs off. And I'm basically just going to hot glue them to the handle here. Here? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> the reflection of the window is exactly where the light bulb is outside. It looks like the outside light's on. Oh, really? Yeah. That is weird. Oh, that smells good. And then I've just got these little packet of berries from eBay. They were literally like a dollar for a packet of a million. And I'm just going to stick a couple of those in just to put a little bit of red colouring in it. Doesn't need much. So, yeah, that's how they used to look and that's how... I'm going to hang them off now. So, yeah, I think that looks all right. Okay, so I've just attached them with a little bit of red tartan ribbon. And then I've got two more on this side. So for the top of these little chairs, I'm thinking something like that. Like none of it's actually secure yet. So I'm going to try and sort of maybe hot glue it all and, and work something out and a way to tie it on. And yeah, I think I'll leave it at that for the um, for the office chairs. So Opposite my work, where all that the water and that is, apparently they take racehorses down there off the sandbank and get them swimming in that part of the water. There's sharks in there. Oh, well, that's what I was just gonna say. And apparently, yeah, there's been two incidences so far where a horse has been eaten by a shark. <laughs> because we saw people like swimming when we were coming back from our um, Christmas party we saw I thought there was dolphins at first because I just saw like like arm well I thought they were fins but they were actually people's arms coming up in the water and swimming and um, so we were just talking about it going oh like yeah they're swimming and this girl goes god I wouldn't be swimming in there there's bloody bull sharks in there and she goes, and that's when she was telling me, because uh, that's the one where her daughter's into horse riding as well. She goes, yeah, they take them from the race hall, uh, from the race course and bring them down here to um, do some training. And there's been two incidences that she knows of where one of them got fully eaten by the shark and the other one got attacked but managed to swim away and was all right. I'm like, Jesus, why do they still keep bringing them there in? Like, how stupid. So how was your day at school, kids? Good. We did, no. <laughs> we did nothing. Did you do agriculture all day today? Yeah. <laughs> That's good. No, the place looks really good. I probably learned more today <laughs> than if we actually went to school. I know, you probably did. Oh, we learned that stuff. why we have to go for the last week. It doesn't matter. But you have no idea how thankful I am that you cleaned the kitchen. I, I think that was just a beautiful, beautiful gesture. If we haven't done that, you would be yelling at us right now. So why the fuck didn't you go to school? And I reckon that's why you did it. You go, oh shit, we've missed our bus. We better clean up so we'll just like get in the good books. What? I <laughs> know your little scheme that you came up with. No, we didn't. We are actually woke up at 9 o'clock wondering why we're not at school. I don't know, Jesse probably just went, ah, oh, Jesse's not working. And then you thought, oh shit, we better just pretend our phones were in your cupboard and we didn't yeah. hear the alarm. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. But my alarm didn't go off. I didn't have an alarm. I think it turned it off. Well, at least you were being productive. See? I've got an eye appointment tomorrow. I'm going to get my. I've got to get my new glasses. I've got to get my eye test done. And... Oh, I saw your. I saw your vlog. Your your vlog for yesterday. Fucking sushi. This that. Fuck. Where's mine? That was for him. And then he goes and drops it all in the car. Oh my god. Wow. Where's mine? Things so aren't fair. This is like a regular thing, you guys just go and get sushi. No, he, he, that's the first time I've ever got him a sushi box. Ah, oh, it's the first time I ever... BULLSHIT! <laughs> <laughs> For 
Because every time like he's asked for it, I've gone there because I get there four thirty. By four thirty, there's nothing left. It's all rubbish. That's well, what they all say. No, there's stuff left, but not the ones he likes. He only likes the salmon. Ah! He's such a peanut. Like I picked him up at the bus stop. And it's literally from our house to the end of our street. That's how far. Yeah, it's a hundred metres, right? Oh yeah. yeah. And there's yeah. a roundabout we got. That's all it. We we go down about 20, 20 metres. There's a roundabout, and then another twenty metres, and that's where his cadet is. And that's all we go. <laughs> so he has his sushi. We go around the roundabout, and the whole sushi tray just tips off his lap. <laughs> I'm like that. No. It's not my fault, you just go, er, Tokyo Drift around me like this. <laughs> Tokyo Drift around the round. Have you not seen the vlog where we went shopping and like, 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 like they kind of wouldn't stop shaking because of your driving. <laughs> like you went around the corner, I was like flipping in mid air. Unbelievable. The whole thing slides off his lap. I'm like, oh my god, but he saved it. I think he saved I think all of it, yeah, none of it was wrecked, was it? It was all against the wall. Oh, that's <laughs> All stuck to the side of the car door. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Why do I bother cleaning the car? I don't know. I said just make sure you pick all the pieces of rice out because we'll get ants. It's hopeless. He's just hopeless. There was no rice. No, there was nothing. There. It was all pretty much intact. Pretty much it was all intact. <laughs> Not yeah. pretty much. I don't know where they're surviving those things. What do you mean where they're surviving? Oh, like, are they... <laughs> <laughs> okay, There's true. enough to like support 20 ant colonies in that car. Like, there's whole packets of chips, half chickens under the seat, like... <laughs> half a chicken. <laughs> like there's whole meals under the sea. So you see the snake died guy, what he did? He got a jar, half filled it up with beef liver, left it on the shelf for three months and oh, he ate it. No! Yep. Why would, why was he doing that? Apparently it's good for you. Oh. And what liver? Did he, was he gagging when he was eating it? Or no, he was loving it. it? And he had it raw? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's fermented Fungus. for three months. Would you, would you ever try it? Yeah. No. How much money would you need to be paid to actually just have a mouthful of it? And $100. Five, Five bucks. Five dollars! You are so cheap. Oh my god. You're just such... You're the same person, you it's two. It's like, wouldn't eat it. Nah. It's like, nah. how much would you cost? Five, Five bucks. <laughs> Let's do my unboxing so I can start editing this video and getting it out to you guys. We're on day 11. So, is that enough light? Oh, I'll have to do. Day 11. 11, 11. Up the top here. Okay, what we have today. Is it focusing? Yep. Share your love for animals by posing, posting a selfie with our animal headband. Okay, so I'm assuming this is an animal headband. Oh no, what? What does it say? Share your love for animals by posting a selfie with our animal headband. And then I get a poof. Am I missing something? Don't know. Oh well. I got a, the tiniest little shower poof. Um, I think that may be, it might be a nipple poof. It might be just big enough to poof my nipples. It is tiny as. I don't know if you can get an idea how small that poof is, but it's the tiniest poof I've ever seen. I don't want to um, wash my butt with it because I'm scared it'll disappear. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll... Uh, I'll leave it with that. <laughs> so I hope you had a nice um, Vlogmas Day 11 and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.